Yes, I. Morning, people. Bless up. Bless it. Bless it, people. Bless it. One love. Good over evil. All of the time. Yes, people. Bless it to all. To the four ends of the earth, you know. Bless it. Love. Every time. To the people. Love. Goodness to the people. Yes, people. This morning, no. All praises unto the most high. All praises unto the most high. Silla. Yes, people. This morning, I get a, get, you know, a vibes. And I was looking through um, my, uh, something pop up on Facebook, actually. I don't really watch Facebook like that. And something pop up there, and I actually watch it. It's called, um, uh, Kunchi, Kunchi TV. That's what I saw, Kunchi TV. And I pressed that time to see what that was about. And I saw it was a man from Guyana. You know, as I, I just, something just, I just keep viewing his stuff, you know. And Kunchi TV, this, this brother, right, he plays a part just like, um, this this brother in Jamaica that plays this girly that plays this role or he could put on a woman's dress or whatever whatever but Kunchi TV you know I was looking into it and I start to see certain things that the brother is a brother with a good heart and good character you know and is on a mission he's of the divine fine because he 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 is he wants to establish, to take care of the poor, the needy, the homeless, you know, to feed the community. And this brother is not a rich person. He himself is trying to get a dollar to feed his family. But he take up this thing where he create this, um, you know, TV, um, Conchi TV, um, Conchi Dot TV. And he's doing his stuff. And I guess he started getting recognized. People started helping him out and um, sending donations to him, stuff like that. And he would take these donations and this stuff and he would go and he would look after the uh, poor people, the homeless people, the people in need. But these demons, I tell you people, Satan is a liar and a deceiver. This brother out of nothing is doing something positive. Something in a time like this. Going around and trying to help the poor. Cook, feed who he could feed. Take care of who he could take care of. Be a helping hand. Being a gracious. This is a gracious brother. Acting and, 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 and working righteously graciously in the manner that if every other human being would do the same then they wouldn't have no homeless they wouldn't have no starvation none of that and these demons rise up against this brother and robbed him robbed him took his chain took his money and all that and these brothers who did this these those guys were robbed this guy this brother, we're doing good. Y'all, our judgment is coming upon y'all. Your judgment is going to be so heavy. Your burden going to be so heavy. Because you robbed this man. You took money from him. Not just him, but from all those he was going to feed. From all those he was going to clothe. From all those he was going to be a helping hand to. Y'all too. Oh, those of you who robbed this brother, may the most high judgment fall upon thee. And may you be beaten. And let you come and confess. As a matter of fact, you will never feel good with yourself because what you did an ark. It's not just an ark. You just didn't just rob one person. You rob many poor innocent people from this one individual. Therefore, 
these people that couldn't get what they were supposed to get, that money that he had to go dish out or to go to help, he couldn't do that. In the red, I say, let the judgment beat you. Let it fall upon you and let it beat you. What you take from this brother, may the beaten multiply 10 times greater. May all eyes see you. May everything that you do, it's not going good for you because it will never go good because you are a negative input. You are one of those you're working for the demon forces to rob this brother and you all know who is he. You all know what he does. You all know what he does for the needy, the poor, the, the starving, the homeless, the whatever that he's there assisting in a time like this when everybody is just is hectic and you all did this. May the Most High God bless this brother. Kunchi TV. May the Most High bless you. And don't give up, brother. Do not give up. May the Most High strengthen you and let you keep on doing what you're doing. They can't stop you. They can't break you. Kunchi, I said they cannot break you. They cannot break you. These demons are scaring you. These demons, you will see them. For the same thing they try with you, they will try it with a net and it will be judgment. But do not give up, Kunchi. And keep, your, keep it going. Don't matter what, keep it going. Don't matter what I say, keep it going. Keep it going, brother. Keep it going. I said, these are people in Guyana. I'm speaking to the Guyanese. That this brother named Kunchi, that TV... Y'all know he's of good. Y'all see what he does. And if any of y'all knows the people who took from him and took from the people that he helps, y'all know what to do. Y'all should hold them and bring them forth. Carry them to the station. Because when people good over evil all the time. Peace and blessings, Kunchi. And may the most I keep on blessing you and inspiring you. And may you keep on doing what you're doing. And may the blessings come in full 10 times to 100. Peace and blessings. Now, the next thing I want to touch. I see a certain individual comes on the live, comes on the television. Um, it's a sister. Um, no, man. Well on there, people. Yes, sir. Yes, people. Yes, people. I've been, from a couple years now, I've been seeing a certain sister. She comes on the um, YouTube. She's on the Facebook. She's on the Instagram. She's all over. And I've been taking the sister in. Amari, I am speaking to you, my sister. My black sister, my black queen, yes, I'm speaking to you. I have heard you cry, bawl, yell, cuss, get ignorant. From there to there, state to state, from that so to that so to that so to the Amari. Listen, man, stop it. Stop it. In the name of the Almighty, Alpha and Omega, stop it. In the name of the divine vine, stop it. Amari, I am speaking to you. You don't know me, it's the red shot black star. I am not calling to degrade you. I am not speaking about you to degrade you. You are my sister. I am saying to you, my sister, your job that you know that you are cut for, that you're supposed to do, that's what you're supposed to be doing. But you are not doing that, Amari. You are allowing yourself to fall every time into the cracks of the gullies. You have to learn to cleanse and purge and come back firm. I see what's going on with your children and the way you talk to them and they talk to you. But Amari, things don't just happen like that. These are things that was bred from the beginning. It is you who hold all things within your power to guide 
over your offsprings. It is you, whatever is going on right now, I heard you cry and say you have done good and do this and do that. Sometimes what you think is good was not good for you at all. This is the same thing I talk about. You might think you have the right guess, but you don't. I am saying to you, sister, put back the crown on top of your head, sister. I'm saying to you, sister, stand up. You know there is a higher power, right, sis? Why can't you work with the divine vine? Why can't you rebuke all evil, evil forces? You had your children and they play games and they play tricks. They become adults now. Are you still going to carry the burden? For you once carried it when they were small. Now they are old enough to make decisions on their own. Some of them have children. They are violating you in every aspect. And you are violating yourself in every aspect. You are confused. You need to wake up. You need to wake up. You need to stop bringing your problems to the media. Every minute you over here, showing your entire life. This is not the job the most I got for you, Amari. This is not the job you're supposed to be doing, Amari. You're supposed to be a powerful sister. You're supposed to be a strong black queen. But you allow yourself and you allow the media to draw your attention and Take your eyes away from the glory of the Most High. So the things that you deal with and the things that you bring forth, it's the things that this demon is allowing you to believe it's right. That your whole problems, that what you could have taken and deal with appropriately, God fearly, you allow a society that allow you to live a certain way. And now. It is flipped back on you. You are feeling the pain right now. There is no graciousness. But only disrespectfulness. Within them. Their hearts are not with you. And so you. It's confusion in your house. That's only what you are going to get. For you are straight away. From the divine vine. You have allowed society. To rule your life. And the media to be a part of your family. Things that you was to take personally and to be hidden, you brought it out there. Your life is like a so proper. Everybody tune in. I saw you cook a food one time in a small pot. And you stuff it up with the onion skin, the old dry onion skin. You said that was vital. And this is the things. Be mindful. Find yourself, sister. Come back to your true self. Come back to your true identity. Sit in thy rightful place. Hold thy rightful order. Put thy crown upon thy head. Rule once more time. Know thyself, sister. For you're allowing yourself to slip and slide. Amari. For you're a strong sister. But now you become weak. For you believe your power is within the media. No. You cannot save everybody. Not even your children. If they does not want to be saved. But first of all, let's work on you. The mother. The comforter. The divine vine. To say, you nurture your children. And today they are disrespecting you. And today they are cursing you. You knew your children before they be grown, before they become as grown as they are right now. You knew them from since they're small. You knew them. Everything that they are doing right now is because of you and the habits that you allowed them to have from since they were small. Now, it is time to try you. Your daughter, she's like the young bull, of course, in the female side. She will try you. Your daughters will try you. Yes, definitely. For now today, they believe they are women. And they are grown. And they will try you. They will want to fight you. And if you don't find yourself and put yourself in order, they will beat you. So, Mary, all respect to you. If I have disrespect you in any way, may the most high. Deal with me. I didn't come here to say this to take you down. I didn't come here to say that to believe I'm better than you. I'm just saying to you, sister. 
You know the most high. I've heard your story. I've heard your relationships, but we're not going to get into that. And we're going to just say, I'm just going to say to you, Amari, you know better, do better. You know better, do better. You believe in a higher power, Amari, all praises unto the most high, Amari. Deal with that. Work with that. Deal with that. Gain your strength, your dignity, your pride, your gracious way from your creator, Amari. You cannot save your children. If you know what you did for them to put food on the table, if you know what you did for them to keep them alive, and today they're going to deal with you the way they want to deal with you, still I said, it's because you did not use. You spared the rod, Amari. A lot of us, we spare the rod and we spoil the child. We spare the rod and we spoil the child. So this is your love. If your love was the part where everything your children did, it was good into your eyesight, well, here comes the results. If you allow your children to become, to grow and become poisonous and to become like a fungus, well, these are the results right now. It's poison. So, once more time, your only thing is take refuge in the bosom of the Most High. Take refuge in the bosom of the Divine Vine. Cleanse thyself, know thyself, purify thyself, and know thy Lord. Worship the Lord thy God, and only the Lord thy God, Mary. Serve with all your heart, for I have heard you say you believe and you know. Stop allowing yourself to play like a child. You're a grown woman. You're not a child anymore. I look at you with your tattoos and your, I'm not here to judge you. I see the way you shave your hair. Your daughter do the same. You do the same. Y'all, it's like. You the elder, you the wise one. A woman's hair is a beauty and a strength. And you keep balling your head, balling your head, scraping your head all the time. I watch you. I see what you do. But again, I am not here to judge you. I'm only here to say I am my brother's keeper, my sister's keeper. And I'm telling you, sister, rise up and be strong. Rise up to the occasion. Stop allowing society, the media, to be laughing at you like a laughing stock. Stop bringing your personal problems to the media. Stop allowing people to know so much about you. I'll tell you, there's one person you could tell your secret to marry. One person. One, one, not even a person. One great master you could tell your secret to is the almighty living God. It's the Alpha and Omega. It's the divine vine. And he will never tell another. Peace and blessings, Samari. I hope that you see within what I say, there is no disrespect to you, my sister, but it's only love. And if you hear me with a righteous ear, then you will know I am my sister's keeper. Bless. All praises unto the most high.